So we've got a slim 360 DVD drive here yanked out of the console and um, behind it we have the magical X-Key Gecko. Now what the X-Key Gecko is, is uh, or the way it connects to the uh, DVD drive, you've got power and SATA for the power, uh, SATA for the, the data, sorry, and you've got a USB 3 um, cable that hooks into the USB slot on your PC and you've got a power little power outlet here that plugs directly into a wall so no need to buy any power devices for it. Um, what this little device is, it's kind of like a two-in-one. Um, it allows you to grab the key off a uh, slim DVD drive um, without needing any special tools. Just uh, click a button and it's done. Um, it's got a little port here and I believe they'll, I'm not sure it's going to come for free or uh, you have to check the product a little bit closer to the release date which I think is in a, in a week or so. Um, a little probe so you can probe a fat light on and get the key out and I believe they'll keep on adding more support for DVD drives so it's kind of like a little lizard slash USB Pro in that respect uh, without the drive flashing and what it also allows you to do with their little application is rip original games um, right now it's just for the uh, DG uh, what's it called? DG 164S which is in uh, most of the slims um, but here's a little demo just of, of how to get it to work um, how simple it is. So um, basically, you click Gecko. Got the little application here. All right. So let me plug in. Just plugged in the uh, DVD drive. It should appear in a second. Yep. I've already got the key. Uh, that's why it says key verify, but to dump the firmware, it's as simple as clicking dump firmware. Uh, I've already got there, yeah, I'll overwrite it. So it, it checks the DVD drive really quickly, and then uh, just grabs the key information. And you can use that dummy dot bin for the X key during installation, so um, yeah, that's, that's how easy it is to grab the key. Um, which is part of the installation process of the X360 key. Uh, now I'll click open tray and I'll chuck the disc in. I'll close it nicely. I'll let it verify. Yeah, and then I'll click rip disc. It says, uh, Do you want to rip the profile? Um, Profile the game, or um, don't profile it, or just or grab it and and rip the game at the same time. So I'll click don't profile because X key already handles profiling data, um, kind of through the firmware. So it'd be a waste of I think it takes like almost an hour to do it. Um, so click no, and I'll just uh, see gears three, and. Uh, I'll start my little stopwatch here and um, I'll be back when it's finished let you know how long it took alright so it's about 10 minutes in and uh, it's almost finished it took 14 minutes on another computer I tried using a normal USB 2 connection so it looks like it's just slightly faster on the USB 3 um, the reason why I guess this product is, is going to be so handy uh, for some people is, is you kind of have to compare it to other products on the market so um, if you want to install an S360 key and you want to dump your DVD drive um, especially for a slim you either need the, the Lizard or uh, uh, which is quite expensive or a USB Pro this device will probably be um, around the same price as a USB Pro on its own um, and also comes with a power supply um, which USB Pro doesn't come with you have to buy a separate power supply there's some cheap ones you can get, but some of them, like the, the professional, I guess, modding tools, uh, can cost a decent amount of money. So you're powering the drive, um, you can dump the drive firmware, and then, of course, there's the ripping feature, which is, is really great. Um, you don't have to buy a 0800 drive, which is a, uh, a fat DVD drive um, that uses a, uh, a power supply as well. Um, so, I mean, this is using a normal... 360 slim DVD drive plucked out of the console. Um, you can sit there and, and leave it next to your computer if you want. You don't really need it, I guess, since you can. Since the whole purpose of the X keys to load games off a hard drive. Um, 
it might look a little bit weird with a hole in, the, in your console, but if you're not using the DVD drive, then it doesn't really matter. Um, but even if you didn't use it as a ripping device, this little feature of being able to grab the key out, which is necessary for the uh, X key installation, is um, it's, a, it's, it's pretty much the same price as a USB Pro, but it also has the power supply as well. So, yeah, in my opinion it's definitely worth it and if you have a slim um, this model here the uh, DG16D4S which I always forget the the name for um, and it's, it should be made compatible with some more drives in the future then uh, it's, it's really worth it alright it's still ripping so it's going to take about 15 minutes or so, 14 minutes or so um, I've already tried uh, the ISO and the X key and, and yes it definitely works on the uh, on the device, which is really cool. That's probably it. I'm not going to sit here for another minute and uh, 20 seconds. So that's the uh, X Key Gecko. Um, very cool little device and uh, very limited at the start. They're only making a couple hundred of these, I believe, and we managed to get about 50 or so. Um, not many. And um, the power supply is obviously this is the Australian power supply. Um, a little racist power supply, it is. And uh, basically, um, yeah, you want to get one from your region. Otherwise, you have to buy a little. Um, I don't think you buy buy a separate adapter, but you need to buy a um, a separate kind of power converter so that it plugs into the wall nicely. All right. See you later.